Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video addressing the question, how often should I change my engine oil? In the past, it was common to see oil change intervals in the ballpark of about 3,000 to 5,000 miles, or every three to six months, whichever came first. Nowadays, manufacturers recommend much longer oil change intervals. In many cases, a lot of modern cars have oil change intervals ranging from about 7,000 to 12,000 miles, or once every year. So with these longer recommendations, is that something you should really follow and trust the manufacturer's recommendation, or should you be changing your oil? oil a little bit sooner. The answer isn't always straightforward as it really can depend on a number of different scenarios, but in general on a fully synthetic engine oil, I believe a good oil change interval is roughly every 4,000 to 7,500 miles. The biggest thing is you can never change your engine oil too soon. So erring on the side of caution and changing your oil a little bit sooner than you may need to is going to be a lot safer and healthier for your engine in the long run. So that's very important, especially if this is a car that you intend to own for six, eight, 10 plus years and 100,000 plus miles. So again, the simple answer is about 4,000 to 7,500 miles is a good oil change interval. However, as I mentioned, there are a few different situations that can change the oil change interval. Intervals. Number one factor are your driving habits and really where you're doing most of your driving. So if you're doing 90% of your driving on the highway, then sticking with the higher range number, whatever the manufacturer recommends, is likely going to be very safe and effective. And that's because engines are subjected to a lot less wear and tear, cruising at steady highway speeds for a long trip as opposed to shorter trips or city driving. So again, I wouldn't recommend going over the manufacturer's recommendation here, but for example, if your car has a 10,000 mile oil change recommendation and you're doing 90% of your driving on the highway for a longer trip, say 30, 40, 50 plus miles at a time, then that oil change interval is going to be safe to stick with. If you're doing a mix of city and highway driving, roughly a 50-50 split, then reducing that oil change interval a little bit from the manufacturer's recommendation is always a good idea. So for this, I'd recommend something about 5,000 to 7,500 miles for most vehicles with fully synthetic oils. If you're doing say 90% city driving and primarily short trips where you're turning your engine on, driving a mile down the street, parking for an hour, driving back home a mile, so on so forth, or you're stuck in stop and go traffic, frequently at stop signs, stoplights, etc. then sticking on the shorter end of an oil change interval is always your best bet here. So generally every 3,000 to 5,000 miles is a good oil change interval for primarily city and stop and go short trip driving. Another factor is your specific engine and any common problems that may be associated with it. So not saying that your engine currently has that issue, but some cars are more prone than others to things like high oil consumption, oil sludge and buildup, or specific issues like timing chain failure, issues with lifters, lifter rollers, etc. A lot of the times these problems can be further exasperated by oil change intervals that are too long. So if you have an engine that's prone to certain issues, you're likely better erring on the side of caution and shortening up that oil change interval just to ensure that you do have the cleanest oil available to your engine to help reduce that friction and that can really help prevent issues. So again, understand your vehicle and depending on those common problems, you may want to adjust your oil change interval around that. The third and final major factor, I'm mixing a couple things together here, but it's going to be modifications, any kind of alternative fuels, and more specifically how you actually drive and use your vehicle. So if you're modifying it, increasing the power, that's generally going to lead to more heat, more stress, and call for a sooner oil oil change interval. Same thing with alternative fuels, something like ethanol, also known as E85, can be a little bit harder on oils, and that's going to be warranting a shorter oil change interval. And then same for these last couple notes, any kind of spirited driving, track use, again, shortening that oil change interval to the lower end is your best bet. If you really are tracking your vehicle, a lot of the times, if you're doing a true track day, you should 
should change your oil before and after that track day, or at least every couple of track days. So that's the very extreme end. But if you're driving on public streets and again, doing some spirited driving or you've modified the car, have increased power, I'd recommend sticking on the lower end of roughly three to 4,000 mile oil changes. So in summary of oil change intervals and really the best oil change interval for your car, this really depends on your specific vehicle, the manufacturer's recommendation, your driving habits and style. Those are all big factors in your actual oil change interval that's best for your vehicle. In general, for most vehicles on fully synthetic engine oil, about 4,000 to 7,500 miles is a good oil change interval. I'd never recommend going over whatever the manufacturer recommends, but that will be okay if you just do it once or twice, or you're really just going a couple hundred miles over, especially if you're doing highway driving and longer trips. On the other hand, any kind of spirited driving, city driving, short trips, etc., should warrant a sooner oil change and lowering it to the lower end of that number, about three, four, maybe 5,000 mile oil changes. And then lastly, again, any common problem specific to your engine may warrant adjusting your oil change interval to account for those things and ensure you aren't potentially exasperating any problems like lifter failure or issues with timing chains. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everyone.